channel as you can tell by the title i'm about to give you guys a little inside scoop of my skin routine kind of semi my skin routine so i'm actually in the process of finding my own skin routine but i actually wanted to show you guys the results of the uh, recent skin routine that i've been following and that i pretty much i really like the results of it but i'm also trying different stuff for different people out there who want to see like the results but don't want to really risk it buying that 17 dollars bottle buying any of that stuff so here i am today to give that to you so um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and start and take you on the process first thing i'm gonna do of course is i just woke up actually i've been up for a minute but i'm just now about to get ready for the day and um i actually did this last night and yeah but i'm gonna show you guys completely like what i've been doing recently the things that i bought and yeah so like i said i want to give you guys my, my skincare routine so i just brush my teeth and everything like that um throughout the time that I have the technical difficulties. So my teeth is fresh and everything like that. Fun fact, the toothpaste that I really love is uh, Colgate Optimic White Vantage. This is a toothpaste that I've been using for a while now and I really like it. I feel like it gets like, um, it has um, hydrogen peroxide to deeply clean. And I feel like every time I brush my teeth with this, I get like a really deep clean. And of course I use mouthwash and I use these flosses and yeah. But, um, yeah, we're not here to talk about my teeth and everything like that because I have something different for that on another day. But, in the meantime, I'm going to show you guys my skin routine. So, I'm going to go ahead and start and, yeah. This feels so good. So I know you're probably hearing regular me talk right now. So um, in this process, um, I've learned that um, it's better to actually um, let your um, let your um, let the water air dry rather than pat dry because sometimes you might just be packing in you know more stuff and bacteria into your pores and stuff with the towels. You know what I'm saying? People use different stuff for their towels and you don't want to like break out your face. Um, same things with napkins. It's just like your face is a very sensitive like a very sensitive area like your skin is very, can be very sensitive i have very sensitive skin so it's just better to just let it air dry you know what i'm saying you know and a lot of people may pat it dry but i actually um recently i've been trying to let it air dry and it actually feels like a lot lighter than patting it dry to me so that's just like recently what i've been doing and everything like that and so um once it's like air dry and you can kind of help it a little bit you know like how you do your makeup but um i don't want to put my hair thing back on or i'm gonna have to like rewash my hands and right now my hands are 
in the process of cleaning my face and like you know what i'm saying i just don't want to mix it right now but yeah so right now i feel like really good i feel refreshed i feel like all of that comes off um it takes a process to take them off but like i said before your fingertips are your friends these areas right here not your nails or your digging and all the dirt is that not your palm right here on your fingertips like this area right here you know and so as you can see it's drying up a little bit and so with this part oh i know y'all probably look at my shirt like oh she didn't hit grandma so with this part once i'm done with that i actually apply a face mask so once i do the cleanser i do a face mask i recently um i recently don't actually have a toner which i'm trying to find the right toner for me i heard different toners you have rich hazel and i'm not sure if these are toners but these i've seen different things people use for toning as in like trying to get everything the same complexion but just for dark marks or just like acne build up and just like for sort of a natural glow this is the process that i use um i do have an in-depth like whole body routine that i'm actually like like i said i'm not professional i'm literally i just i'm that person who wants to take the risk for you because we might find something new instagram twitter pinterest all these different places have so many google itself has so youtube you know has all this information and different techniques that people use that you're like dang how her skin like that all these people just use a like a skin routine or they use certain products that are built for them but in order for them to get to that they try different things and that's what i'm here to do to try different products for my skin so i really like where i'm at right here and so normally people will stop but i'm actually going to imply a mask so what i use and um this is actually a brand new one. I used this brand before, but I used a completely different one. But we're actually going to try this one because I really love how charcoal masks do my personal skin. And boom, boom. Okay, so now I'm done using that. I'm actually going to go back in with my fingers because you want it to be evenly applied everywhere. It kind of feels like gel. So now that my face mask is on, like I said, this is a charcoal mask. Um, now that it's on, um, I'm actually going to do my lip mask. And so the lip mask is actually a lip sleeping mask, but I've actually been doing it at night and in the morning time because it's about 15 minutes. And But at nighttime, I try to put it on. Like I said, it's part of my night routine because you have to kind of do two different things. At nighttime, you're kind of like, you're at nighttime, you're taking off your whole entire day. In the morning, you're starting your day. So you want to make sure you're making the best decision. So it comes with like a little small applicator. I've used this before, like I've said. So open it up. I've used it a few times, as you can see. Not a lot, you know, but I'm trying to get better on my skin routine. I miss a lot of days between moving. I had to buy me a new one and stuff. So yeah, but my other one I went through. So, so what you do is with the applicator in your, and I, I, you actually can get this from, I think, Walgreens. I got a lot of myself from Walgreens or Walmart. They're at a lot of your like local like pharmacies and stuff like that in the pharmacy area type of thing. So what you do is like you get a little small bit, get up close, show you all my lips, a little trap, a little dry, whatever you want to see them. Mm -hmm. and it smells really really good it smells like strawberries so i keep that on along with the face mask and that's just what i did so yeah so i'm gonna wait about 20 minutes at least until the mask kind of hardens a little bit and so i'm gonna watch probably like my uh, episode of my show or something like that and yeah Okay, y'all, so I'm back, and I actually, like, took off my shirt, and I put, like, a little bra on because I'm actually about to do, um, I'm about to try another personal, um, routine that somebody did but i don't want to share with you guys until i see if i like the results or not because i don't want to share and then not like it or should i share with y'all so it can be like a fail or nail type of situation but i'm actually going to probably do it a few times because i don't want to show you guys something you guys do and then it doesn't work out and i tell you two weeks later i don't like that but yeah so i have this one because i need my skin out before I get in the shower and everything like that. This is my skin routine before I get in the shower because I just wanted to show you my skin routine. But normally you probably do, you would try to do this after, you know what I'm saying? Because the water will open up your pores by the time you start doing some. Some people even do their skin routine in the shower. That's on you. Everybody have their own little preference with stuff, but yeah. So yeah, so right now what I'm gonna do is with the mask, it doesn't turn into like a charcoal peel off mask, but it's been on for a minute and it says not to leave it on too long. And I always trust people when they say not to leave it on too long and I don't wanna start burning and get an irritation with it. 
So right now I'm gonna rinse it off. I still have my lip mask on, as y'all can see. It still has my lips kind of like glossy and and things like that. But yeah, so right now I'm about to rinse all of this off. Um, I'm doing all of this with hands, so of course, because I switched my outfit, I put my hair in a different bun. I'm gonna have to what's it called? BTW. If y'all see any hair under my arms, I'm literally about to do that because I didn't get a chance to do it so yeah and that's why I'm in this position right now because once I put it on my I gotta hop right in oh so, yeah so what I'm about to do right now do not judge my fat but what I'm gonna do right now is I'm about to wash my hands again before I even rinse off my face face right now after you kind of take everything off um hi daniel you want to say hi to my video you let him out he's potty you let him out he in the cage let him out tell him to go potty but yeah so what i'm doing right now is i'm actually gonna wait again and let this naturally air dry and once it air dries you know i'm just gonna let it air dry so of course a lot of y'all know wash your ears some people doing the shower when they doing that net you know what i'm saying get in there but q-tips are your friends you know what i'm saying but there's different type of ones but right now i'm not gonna be cleaning my ears on camera you know what i'm saying but clean your ears daily and do some research on these about your ears because i read some things how it pushes it further know where to clean them that's something that i'm still learning i'm a i'm a i'm a growing woman and i feel like a lot of stuff as you grow up is stuff that you didn't know that you should know that play a big part especially like key points to put your perfume a lot of young girls do not know this and so for my channel i really want this channel to be informative as much as possible i'm gonna be as real as possible with y'all no judgment zone everything like that y'all looking for some pranks and challenges and stuff go to my main channel you know what i'm saying you get a little goofy area but if you want some real i'm really trying to learn how to become a better me i'm really trying to get you know use my energy wisely this is what to do so a lot of y'all remember this right y'all remember this right this is when you get your first little piercing and a lot of people use it for the first couple weeks and they don't use it again this is your friend ladies and gentlemen the nastiest thing on your body could probably be your nose ring your eye ring your lip ring whatever you got clean your body ladies so what i do is i just take it and soak it up you don't need to i'm just showing y'all you know what i'm saying and i just clean around i lift it up you see and i just like clean around it because this is on your face and look at that dirt out of all that cleaning I just did, look how nasty that was right there. And it could be leftover mask, it can be leftover cleanser, anything, especially for young people who use like makeup, who wear makeup on a daily. Clean, um, clean your piercings, your ears, clean those things, you know what I'm saying, ladies, and you know, be confident in yourself. So my face is about a good percent dry. And so what I'm gonna do now is that I end I finish my face up with vitamin E. So um, some people will go in with their toner and things like that, but I don't have a toner, like I said. I, like I said, I'm trying um, different routines that I've seen other people use, and this is the one I've been using recently that I love the results. My skin feels so soft and just feels like I exfoliated, like, ah, yeah, great day. All right, I can conquer this. So I just take the um, vitamin E. You can get it from anywhere, really, like, gig from anywhere and i take like a little bit like that rub it in my hands and then i just hit my face and i come down i go up you don't want to put too much if you're putting makeup on but it helps give you like um you already seen i kind of had like a little glow going but this helps with like a little natural glow put on eyebrows help with growth you know what i'm saying your eyelashes and people don't know this. Oh, that girl has beautiful lashes. A lot of them 
came into having lashes some of them were just born with lashes but there's so many different things there's so many serums and things like that for your eyebrows so many different things you can do and i'm going to go on that journey and show you guys my journey to becoming the better me aries becoming the better her physically inside and outside but right now we're just focusing on the outside right now but yeah so this is my face routine if you want more of like a, uh, a more of a glow, you can do that. But I have oily skin already, so it's gonna get oily in my key points, which are here, 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 and on my nose. If you've seen if I ever have makeup on for like a really long time, yeah. Um, today is Sunday, so I'm actually not gonna have a lot of makeup on. And I know I've been talking for a really long time. You guys are probably like, uh, but this is just the things that I use on my body. Um, all all of the things that I've been using can be bought at Walgreens, Walmart, Publix. Uh, Kroger's probably, you know what I'm saying, you can price max the stuff or you can order these things on Amazon. Um, it's so many different things. You just, you just have to know what works for you, what doesn't work for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my little tutorial. Um, I'm good. Like I said, I'm trying some little different things right now for like, like darkness on your body and like skin dryness and scars and things like that. I'm trying to learn those new things. If you guys have any remedies or any, like anything that I can do to kind of like lower this, this is a um, chicken pox scar that I recently had about like a few months ago that I really want to go away. This is a little mole or whatever. But I just want to get, like, these dark marks just gone a little bit more. But this is my face up close. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, this is my learning process. Guys, drink water. That's what they always say. But sometimes I understand that it's hard. You want the juice. But at least the first thing you can do is cut out some pop. No pop. And then ease into the juice. And then eventually you'll just be drinking water and good things like that. But I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notification. Hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Team Airy all day, every day. If you didn't know, now you know. Birthday, pop a little thing. Stop it on the road to consistency. And I love you guys. Peace.